Hi everyone, my name is Karen. This is my channel Rather Be Reading and today I'm bringing to you my Around the Year in 52 Books wrap up. So as you will know if you watched my 2016 goal review video, you know that one of the challenges I set for myself was to complete the Around the Year in 52 Books challenge. Around the Year in 52 Books is a Goodreads group and for all 52 weeks of the year they have a different challenge. As I mentioned in my goal review video, I didn't um, complete the challenges on a week by week basis. I just took all 52 challenges and tried to check them off throughout the year. So in this video, I will just be going through each of the individual 52 challenges and which book I used to complete that challenge. Um, I didn't double up on any challenges. I do have a different book for each of the 52 challenges. Um, I do have my laptop down here um, on my lap to refer to. So please excuse me if I'm looking down, but let's jump in. First off, we have a book you meant to read in 2015 but didn't. For this, I used Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This is a series in particular that I had been planning to get to for ages and I just hadn't gotten around to it, but I did finally pick it up in 2016. Next, we have a book set on, in a different continent. And for this, I actually used The Other Woman by Jade Lee Wright, who is actually Boho Bookworm here on Booktube. Um, this book is actually set in South Africa for the main part. Next is a book from the Goodreads Choice Awards 2015, winner or nominated, and for that I used Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Next we have a book by an author you discovered in 2015, and for that I used Just You by Rebecca Phillips. Um, Rebecca Phillips is an author that I had discovered the year previously who I'd really enjoyed, and Just You was a book that I picked up from her in 2016. Next we have a book with the title beginning with the first letter of your name. This one was actually quite difficult. Um, my name is Karen, which starts with a K, and for this I used The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I actually ended up reading one other book in the year that started with K, but K is quite a hard letter. Um, next we have the highest rated on your TBR. For this I went to my Goodreads um, page, went to my to read list and sorted it by rating and at the time taking out books that were due to be released and people had gone on a rate of five stars even though it hadn't been released yet. Um, the highest rated that had actually been released on there was The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which I can see why it had a high rating because I also really, really loved it. Next we have a book about books and for that I use Mr. Penumbra's 24 Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. Next we have a classic book with less than 200 pages and for that I used The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Next we have a book that was mentioned in another book. For this I used The Mysteries of Udolpho by Anne Radcliffe which I really didn't like. Next we have a book by an author you feel you should have read by now. And for that I went with The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Problem with Forever is the first book by Jennifer L. Armentrout that I'd ever picked up. She's an author I've heard a lot about. I actually ended up reading her entire Covenant series also in 2016, but The Problem with Forever is her first book that I picked up. Next we have a book from the Rory Gilmore Challenge. For this I used The Awakening by Kate Chopin. Next we have a childhood classic. For this I used Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. Next we have Reader's Choice, so this was you could just pick any book that you wanted to read. So for this I used Dark Places by Gillian Flynn because that was a book that I'd been wanting to read for a really long time that I finally got around to right near the end of 2016. Next we have a book with one of the five W's, so like who, what, where, when, why. Um, so for this I used What I Saw and How I Lied by Judy Blundell. Um, next we have a book set in the past more than a hundred years ago. For this I used Salem's Legacy by Aaron Gowlin. I can't remember what year exactly this is set in but it's definitely more than a hundred years old. Next we have a book from the top 100 mystery novels. For this I used The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. Next we have a book with a beautiful cover and for this I chose Forbidden by Siri James and Ryan M. James. This book it's a little bit of a letdown. I didn't super love it, but I do really like the cover. I think it's really pretty. Next, we have a book on a summer or beach reading list. For this, I chose Dare Me by Megan Abbott. Next, we have a non-fiction book for which I chose Missoula, Rape and the Justice System in a College Town by John Krakauer. 
Um, next we have a book with a first name in the title. For this I chose What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty. Next we have a book from the Goodreads recommendations page. For that I chose Night Beat by Kirsty Eager which was a big letdown because I really didn't like that book. Um, then we have the first book in a new to you series. For this I chose Banished by Sophie Littlefield. That was the first book in a duology which I did read the whole duology in 2016. Next we have the next book in a series you are reading. For that I chose Hot Six by Janet Ivanovich. This was the sixth book in the series um, and I had been reading it and I have, I think I read up to book nine in 2016, but yeah, Hot Six by Janet Ivanovich for this one. Next we have a Between the Numbers book in a series, so like, you know, a 0 0.5 or 1.5. For this I chose Saved at Sunrise by C.C. Hunter. This is book 4.5, I believe, in the, is it the Born at Midnight series, I think? Um, yeah, so I chose that one. Next we have a book whose main character is in a profession that interests you. For this one I went with, in the end, Breaking Point by Emily Rodder in this book. The main job that the gang get to complete is typing up um, a novel that a mystery author has dictated. And that, if I could get that job, yes please. Next we have a book everyone is talking about. For this I chose Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This is a book that everyone was talking about around the time that the movie came out. Like it was everywhere, everyone was reading it, everyone was talking about the movie. So yeah, I chose that one. Then we have a book with a beautiful title in your own opinion. For this I chose A Darkness More Than Night by Michael Connolly. Um, I really, really like that title. I just think it, it just sounds really beautiful. We then have a biography, autobiography or memoir, which I chose um, My Story by Elizabeth Smart. We then have a book by an author who writes under more than one name. For that I chose The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, who is of course J.K. Rowling. We then have a fairy tale from a culture other than your own. For that, I actually chose Arabian Nights. Um, I don't know if this actually has an author because it's quite old. Um, and the version I read just said by Anonymous. Next, we have a work of young adult fiction, which I chose Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter. We then have a historical fiction book, which I chose The Diviners by Libba Bray. We then have the 16th book on your TBR. For this one, I again went to my Goodreads to read shelf and had a look at the 16th book on that list, which was Compulsion by Martina Boone. Next, we have a book about mental illness. For that, I chose The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Cheat Stephen Chbosky. Um, we then have an award-winning book, um, which I chose All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dewar. This was a Pulitzer Prize winner. Next, we have an identity book, so a book about a different culture, religion, or sexual orientation. For that one, I chose Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, which I totally loved. We then have a book that you've seen the movie of but haven't read. For that one, I chose Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. We have a book about an anti-hero, for which I chose Vicious by V.E. Schwab. We then have a previous suggestion that didn't make the list. So for this one, you had to go back through previous suggestions for the challenges for the Around the Year in 52 books. I chose the challenge that was just to read a 2016 debut. And for that, I chose This Is Where It Ends by Marie K. Nykamp. Next was a novella from your favourite genre. Um, I don't really have a favourite genre per se, but for this I chose A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. This is a classic and classics is a genre that I've definitely been enjoying a lot more and I've really been getting into. Um, so yeah, I went with that one for this. We then have a book about a major world event, either fiction or non-fiction. For this I chose Codename Verity by Elizabeth Vine, which is of course set during World War II. Next we have a top 100 fantasy novel. For that I chose The Princess Bride by William Goldman. We then have a book about a thing that goes bump in the night for which I chose Dracula by Bram Stoker which is of course like the original vampire novel. Next we have a book you're embarrassed to read in public. For this one I chose Entanglement by Dan Ricks. I actually did read this um, on ebook um, but this cover is really awful. Like it's a really awkward cover. 
Next we had a book that relates to a hobby or passion that you have. For this I chose Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This was a little bit of a stretch. Um, I don't really have too many hobbies but I am a big movie buff so I chose that one because the main character does work in the movie industry in LA. Next we have A Crime Story which I chose and then there were none by Agatha Christie. Next we have a book with a type of food or drink in the title. For this one I went with Seven Up by Janet Ivanovich. Um, in the title it's not necessarily supposed to mean the drink Seven Up but it works so I went with that one. Next we have a dystopia which I chose Eve by Anna Carey. We then have a book with a great opening line which I chose Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier which has the very famous opening line of last night I dreamt I went to Mandalay again. Next we have a book originally written in a language other than English. For this I chose Let the Right One In by John Avide Lindquist. This is originally written in Swedish. Next we have a short story from a well-known author. I chose My True Love Gave to Me which is edited by Stephanie Perkins. This has short stories in it from a variety of well-known authors including Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, etc. who are all very well known. And the final challenge on the list is a book published in 2016. For this one I chose Darkest Place by Jay Ford. So that is all 52 challenges for the Around the Year in 52 Books Challenge for 2016 and the book I chose to check it off. I would love to chat with you guys in the comments down below. Um, if you participated in the Around the Year in 52 Books Challenge, did you check them all off? What any books did you use? Um, I would love to chat in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But that's all I've got for this video today. Bye guys!